guys, it's Christy from Creatively Christy, and today we are going to do the current week in my work planner. So I decided for this one, I wanted to do um, all black spread, or black and white, so I used a little bit from here, the horizontal layout book. Um, most of it is from this botanicals book and of course my go-to colorful shapes and the flower power mega sticker book so I will link those in the description below and let's get started I kind of got this idea because I've been doing a lot of color lately so especially pink so I wanted to kind of stay away from that for a little bit at least. Um, I forgot to take my pages up. Okay, that's much easier. That's what I love about Happy Planner is that you can take them out and then put them back in so easily. And since I am right-handed it's really hard for me to write here if there's like a coil there so I will never go back to the coils again never ever never ever so I do believe this is from the botanicals these little um, black outlined ones. They're just so pretty and kind of minimalistic. I do tend to go for a lot, but I do like the minimalistic look too. I might have to get new sticker sheets guys because this is getting harder and harder to get off. I'm racking my sticker. Okay. No. This is weird because that's what these sheets are for. The paper stickers don't like to stick on very well. If you can hear my heat is on right now because it's very cold here it's like minus 20 something oh Canada trying to kill me with the weather I like that I know it's kind of covering up a little bit like the black underneath is coming through and um, kind of blacking out the leaf but I like the way that looks on there Used to be afraid of overlapping you guys and now I love it. Hope everyone had a good Valentine's Day. Ours was alright. We had sushi and stayed home and my oldest daughter is at her dad's for the week because it's week off school. They call it reading week. sad to see her go, but I think without her and her sister fighting all the time, I might get some work done, so. And I really need to stick to it this week, because <laughs> last week I basically pulled a whole week off because I had migraines every day. So fun. And the weather changes here, my head reacts like crazy. So on this page, I like to mirror that up there, so put it at the bottom. I feel like it just ties it all in. The next page will be different, but still fitting in with the same theme, you know. I 
loving this already, you guys. This looks so nice. It took a lot to um, pick out these stickers and not have any color at all whatsoever come through. I mean, I can always put a pop of color in like when I write in there, but I might just keep it black and white and do that idea another time. This is like a washy quote, I guess. Um, it says, on to the next, I don't know if you can see that, on to the next adventure. And I thought there was yellow in here, but I think my eyes were playing tricks on me last night when I was planning this out. So I got colorful boxes because I, or I'm sorry, colorful shapes because I couldn't find a colorful boxes sticker book anywhere around here really. Um, but I do have colorful boxes on the way. And I always used to go past colorful shapes and at Michael's and be like, oh no, I don't know, but they're coming in handy a lot, so if you don't have any, I suggest you go get some because they're great. I might have to go pick up some more. I'm going through them like crazy. Oh, they curl when you take them off the sheet. Sorry if you guys can see that. I can't really see what you guys can see in the camera because it has to be high enough to get the whole area in. So my head is lower than the camera right now. that when you accidentally rip them. Maybe I can fix it right here. Okay, yeah, you never know. I'll just... Cut those off. I know a lot of you cringe when stickers are cut, but sometimes it makes them look even better. They're cut to fit the page and they're not hanging off. Still pulling from the colorful shapes book here. Yeah. Guys, I don't know what's going on with these paper stickers on this sticker planning sheet. It's driving me nuts. They're peeling apart. There we go. Okay, now I've layered some on top of others, so see if it peels off all together. I know people use the, um, what's it called? Um, the X-Acto knife to 
peel their stickers off. They're planning sheets, but I don't want to wreck the planning sheets, so. Still salvage it. What do you guys think? Maybe. No, that's too high. <gasps> no. Guys, I don't. I'm a mess today. <laughs> If you ever get like little bubbles or wrinkles in it, I just use my nail and I go out like that. See, now that was too high. I don't want to rip it off again, you guys. Maybe I'll have to cut it. Well, should have paid attention to my planning page. That's not bad though. That looks pretty good. We could have like that there, and then that fixes my healing up problem. It's barely noticeable, hey? And the last one. I got some quotes out of each book there. Yeah. Well, other than where I kind of wrecked it, I am very happy with this. And it was a good challenge to just do black and white and I love it. Yay! I hope you guys like it too. If you do, give this video a like. If you want to see more of my videos and other stuff, then subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. See you later.